because I oh shit I forgot to save when I left uh, because I played some games with my friend stepping off deal of fun playing Call of Duty so why can I actually see oh yeah it's no problem because I am still not visible so I can pretty much just go here. I'm all over it. I think I will also. A good decision. Oh, the 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 problem with um, using Templars and the reason why I didn't use them very much in my last playthrough is that they tend to find new pods. Stepping off. When you use them, because they are basically a melee unit. Well, they are a melee unit but they're basically useless when shooting so um, especially on higher difficulty levels it's a pain in the ass because you can't deal with two pots at the same time most of the time yeah, those guys ha are in a hurry Um, so I am going to shoot with my sniper if she can see anything and that should make the well I'll shoot at the purifier and hope he blows up and that, that worked but that wasn't my sniper so they're pretty much dead anyways um we are going to start off with our friend the Templar. So I've never had a male Templar before. The it strength sounds of the Templars great. ebbs and flows with the tide of combat. As we focus our energy, our power increases. And can so I can either I can either use um, reflect or parry and this will negate the next piece of damage I am going to take or I can just move him after he attacks which makes him more useful than the rangers but he also does less damage than the rangers um, I can also probably just attack him hopefully without triggering the next part I think I did. Taken care of. So we are going to start moving up just a little bit. Tired of waiting around. But we don't want to find a point, a new pot at this point in our turn because they will mess us up. Because we've used pretty much all of our actions at this point. Come on in. Oh, so there's two pods there. I don't like this kind of mission, I think it's kind of dumb. Because you never... Well, I think it's a bug that I can never see how much health any uh, the, the device has, but it's still pretty dumb. Um, we're just gonna move. I don't think we'll see a pod here because we see two pods next to the device so I wouldn't expect there to be a pod anywhere here because one well one is here we just can't see him well, I'll just move here first maybe I'll Guide see the hand. yeah I did it's a good thing Um, I can probably kill that sectoid and anyways it doesn't matter because we can move our Templar after, Templar after we attack with him. Or I can also use him to tank one shot from the... Um, I can use him to tank one shot from the Muton. 
which might be what I'll do if I can... Oh wait, I can't really reliably kill a sectoid, I don't think. Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't move there because someone's in the way. So if I move him here... It's basically gonna see the sectoid in full cover. Oh, could be worse. And uh, not the sectoid, the new tone. But I think... I think those things are destructible. So I'll destruct them in that case. Maybe it's good enough. Uh, okay, so they're not destructible. Just as I said. So, against mutants, it's just important to have good cover. It's usually enough most of the time. And to not group your units together because they have a grenade, which is a pain in the ass. Um, so, she can't see anything, and she can't see anything from here either, which means moving her here does pretty much nothing. Um, what can you see? Uh, nothing useful either. Uh, so we have an 11% chance of hitting the Muton. Which is very useful, of course. Just gonna go into cover here to be able to attack them next turn. Jonas Van Dam. I like that name. Um, I don't like his position though, so I can't put him here or else he'll get grenaded. Uh, so, what do I do with him? I think I'll move him here and try to throw a grenade at the Muton. Because... Oh, okay, we have a 30% chance of hitting the Sectoid. If we can't throw a grenade, that might be... Which it doesn't seem like we can. So this might be a viable alternative. Maybe we'll hit him. But it's fine. Okay, so I will expect the Muton to shoot at him and the Sectoid is probably going to do a psionic attack so we don't really benefit from cover, I think. But maybe we should do this a little bit more carefully, we don't want our... Want, we don't want him to get injured. This is only half cover. It doesn't matter, he's a melee unit anyway, so we'll just put him where he can't see anything. So the mutant's on fire. Oh, I thought he was gonna shoot. Oh, that's pretty good. So... Oh, so now they're shooting the device. I would have much preferred her to be mind-controlled, because that would mean that we would be able to just uh, melee the sectoid. Which would have solved a lot of problems. Okay, so we should be able to kill both. You cannot melee... Um, you can't melee mutants because they will counter and melee your unit back, which is bad. Which is real bad. Um, I think I should... We'll see how this goes, but we should think about attacking the other pot on this turn too, because we don't know how much life 
that device has. Oh, we probably can't deal with two pods at once. So they did see us, which is good, I think. I well, I pretty much have a guaranteed kill on the sectoid, but I will end up in a very poor position. So we can definitely melee the sectoid. Hmm, we could also melee. The advanced trooper and just so I don't expect there to be any more um, pods in this map. But we really need to take out the muton first and foremost. So we should. Well, can't really do that much. Can put him here. The muton. Probably can't hit the muton very well, so I will try to grenade this thing over here, which should kill the sectoid. Because I think he's in the blast radius of this barrel. Boom! And it did. So we have a 50% chance of hitting and killing the... And I think that's pretty much the best we're gonna get with her, which isn't good enough. Um, I really, really want that Muton to die. So I will try with him first. I should be able to kill the Muton using two units. Okay, maybe I can't kill the Muton with two units because they're idiots. So I can't go here. Okay, so this is really bad. But we'll try another 85% chance. And remember, we don't actually have to kill him because he's gonna take damage from fire. Okay, so we have two troopers left. I would expect them both to fire at my Templar if we don't move him. So I will move him because the first one we can parry and the second one we can't. So I'll just move him into full cover, I think. I, I think that's fine. Yeah, well, that's your own problem, buddy. Well, so we already fucked up. Only so much. You don't know, really need to shoot at that friend. But it survived, so we're good and we should be able to finish the mission on this turn then. Okay. So our sniper can't see anything, but that doesn't really matter. We can just melee both of these units and probably guarantee to kill them. And the other kill is gonna go to our Templar. We actually can't kill, and I wanted to reduct my there but I couldn't um, now we'll just grenade him I guess yeah that should be fine. So he's definitely pronounced grenadier since he's French status confirmed all hostels are down and the area is secure Yay, so we did it. Um, and the soldiers that are wounded are wounded to such an insignificant amount, it doesn't really matter. And since I uh, don't know how to edit, I'll probably just upload both of these episodes on the same day. 
According to Advent officials, recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. Yeah, but, uh, so the... So right now we're really having a good, an easy time because we're ahead of the game. So we should use that as much as we can. Maybe we should take out... Well, we'll do the, the next mission. Wait, was that it? I think that was our, our um, free mission that we just got. So we might actually want to take out the, the story mission. I will keep... Well, suppression is also very useful sometimes, but if I have some soldiers that have one thing and some that has a, have another, then I'll... Oh, whatever. I usually take two of these out on my missions anyway, so... It's okay if, the, if I don't expect them... If I expect them to be able to punch through armor uh, or, or cover and they're not, then it's fine. If I have a second one, I can. Um, shadow step. So, yeah. Hello, Commander. Yeah, so this went pretty well. Um, we will see how our soldiers are looking. We'll probably just wait for the next scheduled uh, thing. But we should be probably capable of going out on a mission, like in a couple of days. Advance officers might be more resourceful than your. Clean alloys. Do we need those right now? I don't know. I think we want to contact. We want to make contact United here because it increases the amount of income we get. Attempting to establish local commander. The aliens have made significant progress toward their goals. New advent facilities are cropping up around the world. So, if we kill one of these facilities, um, we will reduce the av avatar project. Okay, so where is this? Okay, here we want our workshop. Workshop. Workshop Good. construction initiated. So he's building the workshop. We have an empty place here. I'm gonna put my laboratory in there. Wait, does the training center? I think I. Uh, I don't know if I need a training center yet. I. Uh, I want to put this here. I, at the infirmary, I want to put it here. I want to get it as soon as possible, though. So I'm gonna go for a laboratory here. Initiated. And yes, that's fine. And I'll put my thing, my infirmary here, and get it as soon as possible. We still only have three engineers, so we should try to get more of those. But also our three engineers are, as soon as the workshop is completed, they're worth much more. They're worth um, five engineers. Because we can use two of them for double, which is the reason why the workshop is so good in the early and mid game. Commander, the aliens continue to okay, so the, on the Avatar, Avatar project. project is We're going getting to slow them down. We'll pretty to far. Fast. So we might want to start um, attacking um, the, the black side, which should reduce it. Okay, so I do... Okay, these are both really bad. I really hate it. 
I hate the dark event where the black market doesn't work, but I think this is just a giant pain in the dick. Because if the opponents can see us before we can see them, then that's just a bad thing. So I will take that out. Okay, I want to take one heavy with me. So we don't... What do we do? Packing, so we're definitely taking shifter. Also has a bond. Sniper, which is fine. Oh. And what? Sergeant, I don't think. Wait, what is my highest unit? Can I get the squad size upgrade yet? Oh shit, I didn't mean to. Well, I can recall the memories. But actually, it's probably fine. Sky Ranger, deploy in the pipe. Five by five. I don't think I need to change anything. No, I, I need Sky a heavy. If I don't take a heavy, I'll really regret it. Oh, anyways, this was... I'm sorry, uh, this is just like the second part of an episode, so I will do the mission in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.